This street is clearly a snow route and this sign says it all. But even with that message, a lot of people seem to ignore it. And that means when snowplow trucks come down this street or in this neighborhood, they have to take matters into their own hands. I've lived here 20 years and I've never had that happened before. Plow drivers were out clearing the snow from the roads and a driver made his way to Robin Daly Street in Spanish Village, but the cleanup didn't go exactly according to plan. Several were awakened unnecessarily and angered by it. So that's not the first problem we've had down there in that neighborhood, so I figured if they can't read a sign, maybe they could hear one. Around 730, Daly says a Bridgeton snowplow driver came across several vehicles parked on the snow routes in her neighborhood. However, instead of going around the cars, she says the driver grew frustrated. And I heard this horn, a really deep horn, like what you would hear from the fire department. And she says he continued to blare his horn throughout the neighborhood at every vehicle on the snow route. I thought it was more ridiculous and asinine than I thought about frustration. Oh yeah, me and bathroom break Billy just installed that train horn there last week. Hey, I've been itching to hear that hoot or howl ever since. So police posted a message on Facebook to warn people about parking during wintry weather. They also stress that it is against the law. It's a pain in the rear, big pain. While Daly says she's well aware of the rules, she felt it was inconsiderate for the driver to keep blaring his horn. He didn't have to do that. He could have called for the PD. No, call the PD. I've never called the PD in my life. I'm not a cop caller. I'm no snitch. You poke the bull, you get the horns. That's just how it is. And she hopes before it snows again, the issue will be addressed. And I certainly hope that tomorrow morning they'll address the obnoxious horn blaring that was going on because that really was unnecessary.